Hello again folks, and welcome to a new Let's Play. This is Jade Cocoon 2. This was uh, released sometime in 2001 in Japan under Ginky, and then published and distributed by Ubisoft in pretty much everywhere else for the PlayStation 2. Uh, I have no history with this game. I've played through the first Jade Cocoon on this channel, which if you want to check that out, it is complete. It's all in a playlist. It's all pretty interesting. Weird at that. These have been pet simulation games. Uh, you know, much in the same sort of vein as like Pokemon and Digimon. Except as far as I've seen and through the tutorial of this, it is way, way more complicated. Oh, you're going to do that? Nope. Don't reveal the juicy bits. Um, but yeah, this was also done under the same artists who had been doing the first Jade Cocoon, which is Studio Ghibli. And you shall see, it's a, it looks pretty good. Look, it's that, you know, 2000s era Ghibli, where everything's pretty much, you know, natural life and all that fun stuff and really interesting monster designs. But I suppose we'll start and get through the intro, which is an interesting choice. Hey, my name's Nico. I'm a fairy from the dream world. It's somewhere between, you know, heaven and earth. Anyway, you ever heard the story of Jade Cocoon? Monsters wander through the forest. And people live in fear of them hiding in magical protection. That age is said to have lasted a long time. Yet that entire pack of monsters is said to have been sealed in the wormhole forest by the brave actions of a single hunter. So, pretty amazing, huh? Time passed and the saga faded to legend. And after a long period of silence, the seal was finally about to be broken. But... However, the time to assemble has come again. Save the world from the beasts of darkness. This recent Help Wanted ad stirred up the public by advertising, make a quick buck in all the rank and honor you want. Come on out, starting today, you too can be a hero. Yeah, magic and monsters. No matter how much you know about them, you still won't be popular with the girls. Much less attract them. Ta-da! This is the brave hero of our story. His name is Kahoo. He's a perfectly normal little boy who adores the legendary Cocoon Master. You call that normal? Well, we won't worry about that now. Thus, Kahoo begins his journey and heads to the temple to meet his hero. So I wonder, what will be young Kahu's fate? Yep, yeah, that's right. This is a sequel. 200 years in the future of the first game. Cool! I warped into a room! Is this the power of magic too? Hmm, this place is pretty small inside. Now, how do I get to be a cocoon master? Maybe I'll ask someone. Oh boy. Yep, this is one of those kind of sequels where it's like 200 years ago the previous game took place and well at, at that point why call it a sequel I guess. It's it's mostly just to establish that it's in the same world I guess. But yeah we play as uh, <laughs> Kahu here and you can see already that this place is going to be it's just a smidgen more complicated than the first game. Anyways, um, from the advertisements, by the way, this game is 100% voiced and has over 200 cutscenes, if the ads were correct. And, um, drop in, folks. This is going to be a long one. Who are you? I haven't seen you around here. Are you a rookie? Me? I'm Kahu. Pleased to meet you. Uh, I'm not too sure I'm so pleased to meet you. 
Should I be? Huh? Why not? Did I say something wrong? Why should I trust you? If you want a good scoop, keep coming back to ask. Hey, old oh man! What are you doing here? Huh? What's it to you? Wondering if there's a good paying job? Anyhow, rookie, you been to the Jade Throne Room yet? I... I have not been. Anything more? Just how do I get to the Jade Throne Room? You're such a pest. Just use the transporter you see over there. Go stand on the shining circle and press the X button. The X button? What's that do? Just how do I get to the J Okay. You're so go stand. Thank, thank you. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those games where it's just gonna be like, oh hey, have four sets of dialogue with the NPC as opposed to just all of them in one go. Hey, when games do that a lot of times. Hey, old man, how do I become a cocoon master? Cocoon master? That's a blast from the past. We're all beast hunters. Beast hunters? Is that a cocoon master? A super cocoon master? Think of it more like a super hyper cocoon master. Remember that. Anyway, you got a license, kid? A license? What's that? Do I gotta have one? Of course. Go to the Jade Throne Room and train to get one. One second, I want to double check something with a voice. And the voice is already set to max. Alright, in which case I'll try to set this down to see how that goes. Sorry if you can't hear the voices uh, too well because of that, but hey. Hey you! What's that next to you? It's the bulletin board. First time here. Yep, I just got here. It, okay. Hey you, are you a cocoon master? No way, I'm a traveling salesman. How about you? Me? My name's Kahu. No, I don't mean that. Why would I want to know your name? Wow, rude. If you need items and such, go to Kiki Nack and Company. They have almost everything. Almost everything. Hey, old man, do all the beast hunters wear masks? Yeah, it's a status symbol, the mark of a team. Like it? Hmm, I think I like hats better. Can I buy one? No, this one's not for sale. It's an ultra rare item. Cool, huh? It's given to the boss of the family as the mark of the leader. Oh, so that means that you two are leaders, huh? You've got no license, right? You should get yourself to the Jade Throne Room. Hmm. What do you sell here? This is where people swap information. You use the bulletin board to find jobs. You mean, like, part-time jobs? Bingo! But the best paying jobs can be pretty dangerous. Oh, one more thing. To pick up clues, keep on talking to people. Right. Uh, really wish that they would just keep on having the conversation going. Do all the Cocoon Masters do part-time jobs? What's a Cocoon Master? Uh, you mean a Beast Hunter? A Beast Hunter? Is that a Cocoon Master? A Super Cocoon Master? <clears throat> uh, they're a volunteer group that fights to purify darkness. Uh -huh. So they are Cocoon Masters, right? Magic users who handle divine beasts. I came here because I wanted to train to become a Cocoon Master. Okay, then, uh, train to get a license. Okay, let me guess. If you need money, check out the bulletin board. You might find a good job. You might find a good job, see? I already can't take this goddamn game seriously. Hmm, how do you use this thing? You can't use it without a license. Like, like the setting of it is pretty cool so far. Like, I know that everything looks very, uh, I guess the word I want to look for is primal and whatnot. And not to mention just the voice acting in this is pretty damn good.
but there's just certain aspects of it, especially Kahu, that make me go... This is gonna be an entirely different situation from the first Jade Cahoon, isn't it? Ah, well. Let's see what we do with the Jade Throne Room. Whoa, this place is a lot smaller than I thought. Son, first time here. Sir, where's the chief? I want to be a cocoon master. The Nagi people are no longer here. Gone on a long journey, leaving my wife and I in charge of the temple. Now I alone protect the temple. Sir, are you the legendary cocoon master, Levant? <laughs> Who says I am legendary? As you see, I am quite alive. Since then, I have forgotten how long I've lived. Were I a normal man, should have died long ago. Ah, please pardon my bad habit of talking too long. May I continue? Sure. A legendary cocoon master has got to be an old man. So the Chosen Ones don't die? Or can't die, is more like it. Camule the Dragon God dwells within my body as protector of Elrim, God of the Forest. Protecting the seal of the temple for eternity, that is my duty. How come you got together so many Cocoon Masters? Levant, can't you just get them by yourself? The divine beasts in the wormhole have spawned awful mutants. The Nagi people feared them, calling them the Forbidden Seeds. The divine beasts evolved and adapted to the environment of the wormhole forest. We call them Kalma. They are so numerous, I alone cannot handle them, so I need your help. Hmm, are they strong? They are violent, but also knowledgeable, formidable foes. So I gotta get stronger so I can beat them. Actually, I'm gonna get strong. I promised Dad. Your dad? Is your dad strong? Way strong. Huge fists and a big voice, too. He always says, son, you gotta grow up and be a man. <laughs> I see. Let's start your training. What's your name? My name's Kahu. I want to work hard and get strong like you, Levant. Pleased to meet you, Kahu. A present for me to you. Take it. It is a beast amulet. Man's only weapon for fighting against divine beasts. It is a magic amulet, made by deciphering the ancient scrolls of Gehenna. With it, divine beasts can be handled without using the way of divine beasts. Cool! Can I keep this? Thanks! First, you need to learn walking through the wormhole forest. But if you have no interest in the forest, I will not force you. Many of today's youngsters are so impatient, it's hard to teach them. There's so much talking, I ne honestly nearly nodded off until my controller vibrated when he gave me the armlets. See the glowing gateway. That's the Kumari gate. You go in from there. Push the button in front of the gate and then you go. Come, try it. Oh boy, I think that's gonna be the hardest challenge with this game. It's just like the times where there's exposition dumps. It's just it's just so calming, but at the same time, ah, I don't know how to explain it. Anyways, off to tutorial land. Wow. There are these weird plants all over. 
This is an island in space-time, the wormhole forest. The divine beasts have a habit of making nests in the plants called ogre vine. Once in the forest, first look for the nests of the divine beasts. Nests of divine beasts? Ogre vine? What's that? Are they big? The ogre vine is quite a bit larger than the other plants in the forest. It's a big plant that gives off light and vibrates. Go find it. If you get lost, push the beast amulet's triangle button and call me. Blech. Yeah, I've actually already been through... Uh, I've played through this tutorial a bit at the least. That's the princess vine bud. Use the key spores to open the bud and go in. To open the bud, you must first find the ogre vine. The ogre vine's a big plant that gives off light and vibrates. Go find it. Which means there's only one other direction. Wow, this is huge! Could this be it? Levon, is this it? Yes, that is an ogre vine. The divine beasts make their nests in there. Now, go on in. There are no divine beasts in this forest, so don't worry. I'd almost rather worry. Gives me something to do. Cool. I can hear something. Like, it's alive. Of course it's alive. We're in the male stalk of the wormhole plant. Male? Is there a female one too? Exactly. A male stalk is an ogre vine. A female stalk is a princess vine. I can tell you more about this plant if you want. How about it? Are you interested? No, uh, I'm good. No, no. So, what do I do now? You sometimes find gems and herbs dropped by the divine beasts in here. These items are vital to survive in the forest, so be sure to pick them up. So go ahead and search around inside this nest hole. Like, don't get me wrong, the lore can be interesting and whatnot, but... Oh, it is laid on so goddamn thick I'm suffocating. If an explanation point appears, it means there's an item around. To pick up an item, press the X button. If an explanation okay, I was just making sure that he didn't have anything more to say, because game's all like, hey... Talk to the people multiple times. Tabatok. I got it. Huh? What's this? Some sort of weird egg? That's a divine beast egg. The eggs you pick up are hatched in the temple. Cool. I've never seen one. So divine beasts are hatched from eggs. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get lots of eggs and raise divine beasts. Finding eggs is merely one means of boosting your fighting power. Our object as beast hunters is to purify dark divine beasts called Kalma. Aim for even deeper levels so we can purify even more Kalma. To advance to the next level, you need the key. Look over there. What's that? Some strange balls came out. Those are key spores. They open the buds on the princess vines as exits. In short, they are like keys to the next level. To find key spores, look for the sparkling stamens. Remember this. Now go on and pick up the key spores. Got it. I got it. Now what do I do? Now eat it. Don't hold back. Just swallow it. What? Can you eat this thing? Eat it, and your body gives off odors that stimulate the princess vine. Stimulated by odors, the princess vine buds open. That's how it works. Ugh, this looks pretty weird. Just swallow it. You'll be okay. Beast hunters have it pretty rough. Huh? <laughs> hey, something smells sweet. Your body is giving off musk spores. Now, find the exit. Right about now, the princess vine bud should be opening. Now go outside and find the princess vine. 
Could have just had it so as like a sim simple key indoor situation. No, 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 no. This is a giant male plant, and then you gotta grab and eat its balls in order to go to the princess to have her open up for you. Game's already weird, and I've only played for like 20 minutes. Look, see it sparkling? This is a princess vine with its bud open. You can go through here and get to the next island. Through wormholes, obviously. Yay! Huh? Where am I? You went through the wormhole tunnel in the Princess Vine and jumped to the next island. This is how you advance deeper into the wormhole forest. Got it. A tip section was added to the items on the minion. A new item has been added to the Beast Hunter tips. Let's take a break. I'll show you how to return to the temple. Press the triangle button on the Beast Amulet to display a menu. The menu will have a return to temple command. Use it to get out of the forest whenever you want. Once you're back at the temple, you've passed walking through the wormhole forest. Try. So I don't want to really sample it, but if you press any other button whatsoever, even try to move in this area. What's wrong? Don't you know how to do it? Pressing the triangle button on the beast amulet displays a menu, right? So, yeah, you eff effectively have to leave at this point. Makes sense, and we're not done with the tutorial yet. This is gonna be a longer episode, because the tutorial is gonna be freaking five centuries long! I'm fine. Mild regrets. Looks like you made it back okay. Now you can learn how to use Divine Beasts. Yes! So now I can finally start raising divine beasts. You're on your own for a while. Try talking to lots of different people. Press the button on top of the transporter. Then pick where you want to go. Go to Kikinak and Company for information about items picked up in the forest. The Shrine Maiden in the Room of Life will tell you about hatching eggs. After hatching your eggs, Go to the arena to learn about battle formations. How can I remember all that at once? Anyway, first I gotta go hatch the egg I just picked up. Fine, let's meet back here once your arena training is finished. Why the hell is hatching in freaking quotation marks? Yeah, I won't lie, only, only slight? It's slowly building, but right now it's just slight regret of putting this on the list. I know it was, you know, um, rather favorably reviewed back in the day, and a bunch of po bunch of people like it, even now. But I don't know. I don't know. It feels like if I wanted to put something that's um. Massive JRPG wise, I probably should have put the original dot hacks. Yeah. I have the first three. Eh, alright. This is your beer time. And yes, that is one of the gals from the first game. Okay. So you change names of divine beasts. Divine Beast Administration. Yeah. I find a way info on the divine beasts you find. So you're a Pokedex. Hey, miss. I got a divine beast egg. What do I do now? Well then, shall we hatch the egg? Again with the quotations around hatch. Hey! Okay, maybe it's more like 99% voiced. Welcome to my room of life where I can hatch divine eggs and merge divine beasts. 
Do hash eggs? Please select hash eggs. Go figure. Which egg do you wish to hatch? I, I have one. It ain't no Pikachu, but it's pretty damn adorable. Name it? Oh god. Um... Uh, <laughs> I don't know, freaking. It's pink. It's, uh, I don't know, Tochi. There we go. Tochi has the skill burn f hit with the fire element. Divine beasts with fire skills should generally be put on the fire side. Tochi was placed on the fire side. New tip has been added to merging tips. This completes your practice in hatching and arranging divine beasts. Now, go to the arena and learn the basics of how to fight battles. The divine beast hatched today is in your beast notebook, so check it out. Now, give the newborn a good name and take good care of it. I shall try. Alright, so, as far as I've known and read, um, the stats in this are fairly straightforward. HP to zero is dead. MP to zero means you can't use skills. Strength is how hard you hit with uh, physical abilities. Wisdom is same, but with magic abilities. Vitality is defense against physical. Spirit is defense against magical. Hope I'm getting that right. Now the weird stat, <clears throat> the weirdest stat that I've seen recorded anyways, because I wanted to actually look into this, was speed. Because speed is one of those w ones where it's like a weird, like average of the party versus the average of the versus party. So, ow. <laughs> and we got different skills. MP used 11. S damage on skill attack. Okay. So they'll explain it in full detail, and I can't blame you for wanting to skip it. I sure as hell want to. But the way that this game works is that each of the elements have basically different speci uh, specificities of what they do. Um, if I recall correctly, Earth will be defense. Fire is offensive hits. Water, I think, is healing. And then air is any special skills and whatnot. As as far as I remember off the top of my head from trying to go through this the first time. So let's go to the arena. Have it explained in full and see just how wrong I am. And no. At least I think they're the same girls from the end of the first game. Oh. 
It, it's doing this all on its own at the moment. Yeah, nice combination. A critical hit. But watch out. Wind divine beasts are vulnerable to hit attacks. Protect them. Oh no! He almost went down. When this happens, rely on the recovery type blue water formation. If your divine beasts get low in health, call out a water divine beast. So then you get the water beast to do the healy stuff. Now you're safe. Water divine beasts resist special attacks. So, if you're suffering from special attacks, get them with water divine beasts. Last of all is the green earth formation, which specializes in defense. Against an enemy with strong hit attacks, use Earth Beasts to boost your defense, or you won't get a chance to counterattack. So you use the Earth Beasts to make rocks. And then I'll defend the party. Look, now you can defend against enemy attacks and get counterattack chances. But they are vulnerable to special attacks from Wind Divine Beasts, so look out! Pay close attention to the various elements and how they will help you in battle. Lesson 2. Defeat the enemy master. Defeat the master in the center of the enemies to win the battle. A divine beast in front of the master will block any attacks on the master. So keep a divine beast in front of the master for defense in a beast amulet battle. Dun 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 dun. Got all that? Gonna be on the quiz when we're done. I don't know if there's a quiz. That's all I've got. So, you want to try using a divine beast? Uh, fight with the uh, Earth. I actually like Earth. Like me personally, it, it's kind of my element. I don't know. I like high defense. First, boost your defenses with an Earth divine beast. Yes, thank you. This is the thing that we were gonna do. So here's the thing. Nope. Uh, you pretty much just, once it's out, you use it. And bam. That's up a barrier. And then you swap to one of your other beasts. And then go ham. Hit chance. Haha. -ha. And every single round, you'll heal a little bit of MP back. I don't know how long uh, the wall lasts, but now we can murder this guy. Oh, or he can give up. That works too. Yeah, I think we're good. To help you on your trip, I'll give you one divine beast. Pick a divine beast. I like having divine beasts. Uh, I'm gonna go with Earth. Beast. You must be a hard working type. Yeah. You fought hard. This ends your battle practice session. Try assembling different formations. Try raising them too. You might raise a powerful divine beast. It's all up to how you fight. Now, go to the Jade Throne Room for the final test. Good luck. Oh, good lord. Hey there, young man. You were just talking to Moo. Come over here. How are we not done yet? Now, aren't you cute? Say, young man, who's prettier, Moo or me? That'd be Moo. Moo, of course! With that mask over your face, I can't see you too well. Sure, that's why. Oh, you nasty little... Thought you might be right. I am wearing this mask. <laughs> Since you were honest, let me tell you something. Young man, you want to power up that beast amulet you're wearing? Wow, can you do that? How do you do it? What happens? Win and pass the test to power up your beast amulet. This beast amulet power-up lets you use more and more divine beasts in your beast amulet. It also gives you more and more shields to protect you. Wow, so I should keep taking the advancement test to get stronger, right? That's right. 
but not everyone can take the test any time. Beast hunters have something called their reputation. It's the mark of just how credible they are among the beast hunters. You must have a certain level of reputation in order to take the advancement tests. Whoa, you gotta take all these tests and stuff? Sounds like school. Don't sulk like that. It ruins your cute face. Creepy. The advancement test and reputation are important. So remember this. To get stronger, raise your reputation and take advancement tests. Got it? Alright. So we were given, uh... What are you? <laughs> uh, what is you? Buried. Oh, his name's Twingo. That's an interesting name. Earth side set in front. No, I went. Well, okay. Earth side set in front for the start. Now uh, let's take a look at Twingo, anyways. Yep, pretty much as I assumed. High defense or high vitality. Really good HP too. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much the name of the game. Earth is defense. Fire is attack. Um, and then I believe it was wind is special attacks, and then water is healing and defense against special attacks. And of course, they got fire versus water, earth versus wind sort of thing going on. I think it's one of those situations where it's like they're weak to one another. So even if you're like, oh yeah, my Tochi will be super effective against the water type, their water type's gonna be. Super effective against you as well. Something like that. I don't freaking know. Let's go to the Jade Throne and see about getting this over with. I suppose I should have talked to the dude kiss that was flirting with me a couple more times. Levon, I passed my beast amulet training. Good job. Now is the final test. Try an actual fight. Use your training and experience to escape from the wormhole forest. The forest you are going to has divine beasts, so touching them will start a battle. An instructor disguised as a Kalma is waiting in some nest hole in the forest. Battle that instructor and get the key spore from that nest hole. Get through the exit princess file and you pass the test. If I lose in battle in the forest, what happens? If that happens, I guess you're divine beast food. <laughs> really? <laughs> Just joking. The beast amulet will bring you back to the temple. That's how it works. Most gracious, eh? Oh, that's a relief. I don't want to get gobbled up by a divine beast. However, if you lose and come back to the temple, you forfeit all items. So then my eggs and everything will all be lost? So don't overdo it. Knowing when to quit is also important. You can use the beast amulet to get back to the temple whenever you want. Now, it's about time to start. Go into the forest. Also, is anyone else getting the I'm gonna be king of the pirates sort of a vibe from this kid's voice? Maybe it's the same voice actor. That'd be kind of cool. Um, I want to see what where one saves. I'm almost I'm almost guessing that's gonna be in the hey, lounge. Where are you going? Go into the forest again. You remember? I mean, I was trying to save just so as I didn't have to do all this crap again. But okay. If you insist. Alright, so this is the first one that we had found. Which means... I guess it's already open. Well, we... We'll say that those Ogre Vine locations are pretty creepy without music and whatnot. Go on ahead. Uh, 
Hey, mugwort. I think that's a healing item. Uh, heals 50 HP. Pretty cool. So... If we lose all items when we keel over... Does that make this a mystery dungeon? Rick. Oh. Hello, little guy. Hello, dude, there. Oh. Mel's Elixir 1. Is that all that was there? The Mel's Elixir 1. Deal 50 MP. Okay. Is there nothing else in here? I guess everything's kind of out in the open pretty heftily. Curious that that thing didn't try springing at me. You know what? Heck it. God, oh, that thing looks menacing. <laughs> Imagine that sucker appearing in the middle of the night being like, I'm going to rip out your spleen. I summon rock. Gonna be able to do damage to me since I got that up? Okay. Yay. We got experience points. Level ups. Hell yeah. Worth. So, okay, when they speak of shields and whatnot, I believe what that means is that you get hit that many times through the shields, and then you'll lose the game. Or get shot back to the temple, I guess. Let's kill this one, too. As I can. I have the initiative. Well, let's just kill it. It does seem like you gain back MP only for the characters that were in the back row. So that might have to be a tactic I indulge in myself again. More level ups. Oh, it does list all the stats you gain. Okay, so that first level was only... MP and the Loic. Oh, hello. It's kind of hard to see those little buggers when they aren't looking directly at you. Don't seem to get any MP back between fights. And they are relatively fast fights. Oh, wait. Oh, I think this does go by Pokemon rules. In that the ones that you use are the ones that end up getting experience points. Whereas anything else gets... half. That's what it looks like, anyways. Boom. Also, I can't help but love the fact that I was all like, eh, you know what? No more J no JRPGs on the list anymore. And here we are. Like it was most definitely a JRPG. Oh, you can only regular hit now. Since you're out of MP. That's fine, I wanted to get buried to have some experience. Sorry, Twingo. The fact that their names aren't listed is a little bit funky. Okay, so they'll they will gain back MP if they're in the back row. But until then, just a regular attack. I don't plan on making every single one of these episodes to be hour long. Uh, dives and whatnot into things, but I at least want to get through the tutorial forest. Hello. Uh, well, oh, that's the key spore. Are are you doing? I are am I fighting you? 
I feel like I should use a Mel's elixir. There you go, Tochi. The menu is just a little bit slow too, which is a little bit aggravating, but Hey there. What do you do when you use mana points and your beast's mana points goes down? That's a problem, particularly for Nas. You mostly use items to get mana points back. You can also recover mana points by spinning the formation and letting the beast rest in back. Hmm, everyone else is having a hard time too. But thinking of battle methods and formations is fun too, right? Your mana points drop as you use it, so you have to think carefully and manage. So, just have fun, okay? Lose that gloomy faith. Are you the same creepy guy that was commenting on my face before in the previous area? Creep. Hey, might as well check what's in here. Oh, divine health. Uh, uh. Great. Cool. Is that MP2? I think it was MP2. Damn it. I used that Mel's elixir thingy for nothing. Oh no! I missed one of the things. Oh, there was a save point. Shush. We can save between levels. You lose all items if you end up getting KO'd. Yeah, no, this is very much a mystery dungeon. Game. Interesting. Hey, I found the boss! How rude, Sonny. I may look like this, but I'm your teacher. Teacher? Oh, I get it. More training. So, do you know a lot about the forest? Of course. You know all about beast hunters? That is the object of the beast hunters. Uh, purify Kalma. Oh yeah, I learned that. It's to purify Kalma. My, my. Very good, Sonny. You're studying hard. Um, Teach, one question. Are the Kalma different from other divine beasts? Totally different, Sonny. Parasitic insects have altered their appearance. Altered? To what? To humans. Humans! Isn't that awful? What's worse is that they are recently mimicking the Beast Hunters. Mimicking? What's that? It means they look like Beast Hunters. So, how can you tell the difference? If you meet someone in the forest, first try talking to them. They may look like people, but the scum can't talk. You'll quickly find out. Now, enough study. Let's get on with the contest. All right, let's go. Teach, you strong? That's right, Sonny. I am the teacher after all. These options when it comes to their voices are... Here goes, Teach. All right, I'm playing for keeps. Just... Yep, they are, in fact, options. Ah, at the least it's different battle music. Why do I gotta feel I'm not gonna like this guy? Alright, set up a burn hit. What? Bop. I got better it up, so it should be good for at least three hits, I think. Use you. Maha. Oh, he's spreading out the damage some. Ha <laughs> ha! Critical hit, bitch! Yeah, your dude only increases your defense. My dude murders. Well, my other dude also just straight up makes a goddamn rock appear. Defend us all. Ouch! Ah! Ah! You do pretty good, Sonny! Is that things are the, that's what the shield does? Good levels. Not bad. You did well, Sonny. You are pretty strong yourself, Teach. Hey, well, gosh. But um, look, Caesar. Hey, that's a key spore. 
So, I passed the test here? Don't let your guard down till you're out of the princess vine, Sonny. Pay close attention to the condition of your divine beasts. Hey, repetition. You can take an advancement test. Take them out the arena. Doink. Nothing else in here? Are you gonna heal my divine beasts, seeing as you, you know... Use some of my resources, and we're all like, hey, you gotta be careful, Sonny! Anything, Sonny? Do you know all about the beast amulet? It has lots of handy functions. You know all about them? You know what? I'm, I'm gonna just say, sure. I'll be fine. Even if I don't know, I'll figure it out on my own. I see. You must be pretty smart there. I mean, who is something. Not sure about smart, but yeah. You know. I've got a bad feeling. Wonder if something's still here. Cool. But what is this? How pretty. Hey, this must be an egg of a rare divine beast. Yow! What's happening? And then he died. Conscious, huh? I guess it doesn't work so well on humans. What? Another me? Who are you? Me? I'm you. You're gonna turn into me. What? Hey, imposter! Try making sense. Shut up! All you gotta do is hand over your body. Okay. Here I come, imposter. I can feel the darkness in you. Wow. Took me a whole hour, but I finally found the edge. Excuse you? That's, that's quite an alarming amount of damage you did there, sir. Uh huh. Bonk. Oh, oh, this is gonna take a while. Is this even possible? Oh, yep, yeah, nope. This is gonna be one of those things. All right, cool. Hey, you only just learned how to play the game. Here's a monster or slash character that you can't possibly defeat. What's sucky too is that Barrett does not have a method to attack. Like, yeah. Unless I can run away. Why not? Oh, at least that power snatch is... Oh, God. Okay, there it is. So, dead now. I uh, yep. Uh-huh. Is this plot? Do I lose? Let's settle this. Collect the orbs, and then you. Hey, you there. Wake up already. Huh? Are you dead? Who? Uh, who? Is someone there? 
Yup, I'm Nico, a fairy who came from the dream world. To be exact, I got woken up. How annoying. Anyway, you've got trouble. An ugly ogre is hiding in your heart. In my heart? An ogre? Where there's light, there's shadow. Don't touch a fairy cocoon. He who soils divine sleep, harboring calamitous darkness. Huh? Don't you learn that from your old man now? What? So am I cursed by you? Bingo! Um, are you the type to be fooled by looks? Pretty roses have thorns. Pretty cocoons have curses. Remember that. You're from the dream world? Where is that world? Oh, between heaven and earth, or, well, um, it's, well, how can I describe it exactly? Deep space, or maybe another world, or strange space, fantasy? Ah, I get it. This is all a dream. Maybe that light did it? Who's gonna believe that? Just look at your rear end. What is that thing, anyway? You've got quite a thing there. Huh? What do you mean? Huh? Yikes! I got a tail now, apparently. This is how Kahu and I met. He who soils divine sleep, harboring calamitous darkness. Poor Kahu's heart was shared by another violent Kahu. A heart divided into light and shadow cannot be one or the other. Only the strong survive, and this is the law of the wild. Humans, beasts of knowledge, imperfect creatures who know too much. This world you see is full of traps that test humans like Kahu. Kahu touched my cocoon, but this too was one of those traps. I was summoned from the dream world to take the role of leading these imperfect beasts and determining their fate. Not what you'd call a dream job, huh? Even chance meetings are the result of inescapable karma. Even so, that's a really ugly tale. Oh well, what you gonna do? I'd say I don't appreciate the snark, but as far as I know, that's basically kind of how the OG conversation in Japanese goes. There's another Kahu inside of you, Kahu. So Kalma has become a human parasite. What do we do? This guy is a horrible demon. That's me! I'm still in my right mind! But this is real trouble. If we just leave you like this, you'll become Kalma. No! You're joking, right? Can't you fix it? The only way to do it is to pull Kalma out of you and have a contest. Pull him out? That guy? How? He's inside me, right? Dark summoning. There's one way. If only we had the forest orbs. Orbs? What are those? Long ago, the Chosen One passed the forest ordeal and was given them. Fire, wind, water, earth. Together, the four orbs will open the door of space-time. If I play the Dark Loot at that time, I may be able to call the Kalma out of Kahu. So, if I collect those orbs, we can defeat that guy? It's not so easy. Only the Chosen One can get them, right? It may be possible if one has the power to get deep into the four forests. At this rate, I'll no longer be me. Levant, I'll do it. Well then, I'll give you a license and open the Kumari Gate. I too shall practice on this dark loot from this day forward. After all, this is the only means of handling darkness. <sighs> Good timing anyway. I was getting bored in the other world. You're so lucky to have someone like me who knows so much about divine beasts. Ugh, you're so full of yourself. As if you care. Anyway, let's do it. Um, Miss Fairy? Oh, gosh. I'm your friend now. Call me Nico. What? 
Whatever. <laughs> Weird fairy. Is Kahu supposed to be likable? Legitimate question. Like, she actually introduced herself and all that fun stuff. Is trying to be all buddy buddy, even with the questionableness of the state of her, his situation and how he got it and all that fun stuff. Point is, trying to be all friendly, like, and he's just all. Yeah, we're every weird fairy. God, that feels like such a freaking 90s thing to say. Really with his voice. But as soon as this is done creating slash saving a file. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call an episode. When we return, we're done with the tutorial. So now I guess we got to just find some divine beasts and... um. Hatch them and sorry, quote unquote, hatch them and see if we can actually, you know, do anything with this information. We'll see. Thank you, everyone, so very much for watching. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this series as much as I certainly hope I'm going to enjoy it. If you guys uh, like this video, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff really helps out the channel. If you want to assist the channel in a financial fashion, I do have a stream, elements, Patreon, and a coffee link down in the description below. Every little bit helps. You can also super chat on my channel. I keep on forgetting that has an option. And all of it is currently going to a move that I am going to be having in May. Yes, I have an official date. It is in May that I shall be moving out to... Uh, out not to California, God, I wish. Uh, back to Vermont with the folks. And every little bit helps, goes to the move, and makes the transition back to the frigid north all the easier. I think that's about it. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.